Welcome back to YouTube channel. This channel is a channel that reviews the latest luxury cars. This time I will review the Jaguar Sorento Yellow. Before continuing, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. After seven years on sale, the Jaguar FX Type has had its biggest update yet. You've probably spied the newly squinting headlights already, and if the bottom half of the internet is any kind of barometer, you might not like them very much. But please, reserve full judgment until you've seen one of these in person. This remains a wildly good-looking car in both coupe and convertible shapes, and the rest of its styling has largely been left well alone. Wise. The F-Type's biggest stories also lie a few feet back from those lights. Chiefly, its V6 engine has gone in the UK market at least a replaced by a new tune of supercharged V8. Yep, Jaguar has bucked all current motor industry trends and upsized the mid-range of types engine. Whatever will the climate change protesters think? At least they'll be marginally appeased by the ongoing existence of the Entry a level 4 cylinder effort type B300, who's 296 bhp to dot o dash litre turbo engine continues untouched. Last year, it garnered 40 to percent of F type sales, but not before donating its engine tune and suspension components to the R. All use an 8 speed automatic transmission. With the F type manual dropped from sale after a mere 7 were sold in 2019. Sad, but we'll cope. The ZF derived paddle shifter is superb and was always our favorite anyway. The P300 and P450 are rear driven as standard. The latter getting all that will drive as a 5,000 pounds option, while the R is a WD only. The F's update also sees some tweaks inside with an updated media system and new. Fully digital instrument display that cycles between single and double dials or a big widescreen map just like the one Audi pioneered six years ago with the TT's virtual cockpit. Jaguar lovers can get the new P450 with a maximum power of 440 for horsepower 331 kilowatts or the P450R which produces 575 horsepower 429 kilowatts. The P450 produces a maximum torque of 428 pound of feet 580. Newton and meters starting at 2,500 revolutions per minute. This model comes with an electronically controlled active differential. This car has the ability to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 4.4 seconds in rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive configurations, while the top speed is 285 km per hour. The P450 comes standard with 20-inch wheels and disc brakes measuring 380 mm at the front and 376 mm at the rear. This model also features an active exhaust with a selectable silent start mode that keeps the exhaust from beeping initially, so you won't be bothering your neighbors in the morning. A six-way electric chair is also available. This model features automatic dimming, power folding, and heated side mirrors. It uses 20-inch split-spoke wheels that are glossy dark gray with diamond detailing. The cabin has seats with 12-way settings and an adjustable steering column. For acceleration, there are no changes for the EFA Typer on the 2022 model. It can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.5 seconds, and the top speed is electronically limited to 299 km per hour. The P450 is available as a coupe or convertible, and comes in either our WD or our dynamic AWD trim. Pricing excluding tax starts at $69.900 for a rear uh, drive coupe or $79.900 for an odds wheel uh, drive hardtop. As for the Jaguar F Type R, it costs 103,000 to 100 US dollars around RP. 1.4 billion. While for the convertible version, Jaguar has not released the price. Well, that's the review why the Jaguar Sorento car is priced very high. I hope it's useful and continue to support this channel by liking comments and subscribing. 
and see you in the next video.